the Warriors have all the ingredients needed to raise up another banner. This is why the 2024 Warriors are scarier than you think. Some people say the Warriors are washed up. Some people say the Warriors dynasty is over and some people even say the Warriors should break up their core and rebuild. Well, those people would be right if it was like 2028 or something. But it's still 2023. So either those guys or time travelers or they're just downright out of their minds and they must be nuts. 61 reasons. 1. Steph Curry and the Warriors had the best five-man lineup in the entire NBA. 2. At 35 years old, Steph had arguably his third best season. 3. Clay coming off two devastating leg injuries scored over 300 trades for the first time in his career and led the league in that category. 4. Andrew Wiggins, on the other hand, will be turning 29 and he's just right smack in the middle of his prime. And if you look at his numbers, he just came off the most efficient shooting year of his career. 5. Looney is in the same boat as Wiggins right in the middle of his prime and coming off the best season of his career when we're talking about points, rebounds, assists, and field goal percentages. 6. Draymond, he too just came off the most efficient shooting season of his career. 7. The new Splash Brothers in Lester Quinones and the recent acquisition of Dario the homie Sarek. 8. In the first two summer league games for the Warriors, Lester went ballistic. In that first game against the Kings, the young 22-year-old guard out of Memphis went off for 26 points on 10 of 16 shooting from the floor. 9. In the next game against the Hornets, he continued right where he left off going for 21 points on 8 of 16 shooting from the floor and 5 of 9 from beyond the arc. 10. He led all players in scoring got the W while making things look relatively easy. 11. Last year in the G League, Lester had a game where he exploded for 46 points and after watching his place for that game, this man is smooth like butter from the outside and can also operate like a Swiss army knife on the inside. 12. He's probably a strong reason why the Warriors traded away Jordan Poole because although he's not at the level of the pool party, just yet the similarities are definitely there and comparisons can be drawn too. 13. Dario Sarek the homie, who shot 39% from three-point range last season, made the all-rookie first team back in 2017. And he also has quite the international resume with championships MVPs, finals MVPs, 50-40-90s and more than on top of that he's only 29. 14. Dario Sarek provides great rebounding for the Golden State Warriors team. This is something that is so important, but as you all know, Golden State Warriors weren't really the best rebounding team, especially in the most current season. 15. Dario Sarek has the ability to thrive as a passer in multiple different situations, which makes him a perfect fit in the Warrior system. He's first to the ball instantly with one hand skips the ball ahead, which leads to an easy fast break bucket off the rebound. 16. He finds ways to finish around the basket consistently, which makes him productive as a roller in the pick and roll. 17. Dario Sarek is able to space out the floor for the Golden State Warriors team. Now as you all know Draymond Green and Kayvon Looney are the main beats for this Warriors team and even if you want to end Andrew Wiggins and Jonathan Kuminga all into that mix. 18. Dario Sarek has a highly efficient scoring from the three also came with averaging 2.53 point attempts per game. 19. Dario Sarek at 6'10 he'll be able to draw rim protectors out to the perimeter. 20. As for more successful European players, Sarek also has a high basketball IQ and we look forward to seeing what he'll be able to do with the Golden State Warriors. 21. Brandon Podziemski, the 19th overall pick and rookie sensation out of Santa Clara, showed his scoring potential during Summer League. After some initial hesitation in his first game against the Kings, Podziemski quickly found his rhythm and showed his scoring potential. 22. As he continues to refine his scoring, rebounding, passing, and defensive skills, his potential impact on the professional stage will become increasingly interesting. Summer League offers him a platform to develop and prove himself, making it a crucial stage on his path to the NBA. 23. His aggressiveness and offensive potential make him an interesting candidate for the Warriors' future. 24. Podziemski demonstrated a similar ability to push the pace, showing he fits the Warriors' preferred style of play. 25. One aspect of his game that should translate well is his ability to push the time and create chances before the defense is in place. 26. In addition to his scoring and rebounding abilities, Podziemski has also shown off his passing skills, especially in pick-and-roll situations. 27. A medical staff can keep the players healthy like how they did with Otto Porter. 
28. The Warriors are also going to have one of the best benches in the league, Chris Paul. 29. Paul is willing to do whatever it takes to help his team win. 30. With his wealth of experience, numerous accolades, and leadership skills, Paul is the ideal fit for a championship team like the Warriors. 31. Chris Paul is going to unlock Jonathan Kuminga the human helicopter because he had this with young players in the past. 32. What's scary as well is that in 2023 Kuminga averaged 10 points per game with an effective field goal percentage of 58% with CP3 in the mix. And with another offseason to hone his skills, I only see those numbers going up. 33. The Warriors are going to have a constant flow of firepower when you add in CP3's deadly mid-range magic whether it's the starting five on the floor or the bench. 34. The Warriors also just acquired Trace Jackson Davis, a 23-year-old four-year college player who's 6 foot 10 and who just averaged 21 points and 11 boards last season in Indiana en route to being the runner-up for college player of the year. 35. At 6 foot 3, the big man from Indiana College brings size and potential to the team. 36. He's a rim-running athletic big who carries a bit of weight so similar to Looney. He'll crash the boards and do a lot of dirty work which makes Golden State just that much more dangerous. 37. All the holes the Golden State Warriors had in their 2023 roster have been patched up. 38. Have every position filled from point guards to shooting guards to small forwards to power forwards to centers. 39. On top of all this, their chemistry issues should all be solved without Jordan Poole. The Warriors' chemistry is back and Draymond's locker room voice will be back. 40. High basketball IQ and the championship experiences of winning multiple titles in the last decade. This team is a legitimate and serious threat to winning the 2024 NBA championship. It's fair. We provide you with news, quizzes, and poll images, and you subscribe and comment. 41. With the signing of Corey Joseph, the Golden State Warriors have strengthened their backcourt. 42. He is experienced guard who can contribute both on and off the court. 43. With his skills and shooting ability, Joseph brings versatility and depth to the team and adds to the overall squad. 44. Jonathan Santos, a second-year forward, still has a long way to go in his development before he can be considered for a spot on the Warriors squad. However, his offensive skills are promising, especially his ability to aggressively attack the basket. 45. Stephen Curry is widely regarded as one of the best shooters of all time and one of the most influential players in the modern game. 46. He is the only player in NBA history to win the MVP award unanimously, which he did in 2016. 47. He is the first player in NBA history to average more than 30 points per game while shooting over 50% from the field, 40% from three-point range, and 90% from the free throw line, which he did in 2016. 48. He is the only player in NBA history to make at least 10 three-pointers in a game 23 times, which is more than the next four players combined. 49. He is the only player in NBA history to make at least 200 three-pointers in eight consecutive seasons, from 2012 to 2020. 50. He is the only player in NBA history to make at least 300 three-pointers in a season, which he did twice, 402 in 2016 and 324 in 2022. 51. He is the only player in NBA history to lead the league in scoring and steals in the same season, which he did in 2016. 52. He is one of three players in NBA history to win multiple MVP awards and multiple NBA championships, along with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and LeBron James. 53. He is one of two players in NBA history to win four NBA championships with one team in a span of eight seasons, along with Tim Duncan. 54. He is one of two players in NBA history to win an MVP award, an All-Star Game MVP award, and a Finals MVP award, along with LeBron James. 55. He is one of two players in NBA history to win an MVP award and a scoring title in the same season twice, along with Michael Jordan. 56. He is one of two players in NBA history to win a scoring title at age 33 or older, along with Michael Jordan. 57. He is one of two players in NBA history to score at least 25 points per game for 12 consecutive seasons, along with LeBron James. 58. He is one of two players in NBA history to score at least 30 points per game for six consecutive seasons, along with Michael Jordan. 59. He is one of two players in NBA history to score at least 40 points per game for three consecutive seasons, along with Will Chamberlain. 60. He is very willing. He's thirsty. 
he's ready to win. 61. And finally, we have this wonderful crowd that will push the Golden State Warriors to become champions of the future NBA 2023-24 championship. If you're a diehard Golden State Warriors fan like I'm, there's always something to talk about when it comes to this team. Please, just wait. Visit the community page of our channel. There you'll find many quizzes, text and picture pools about the Golden State Warriors. Test your knowledge about. Check out these other videos from us about the Golden State Warriors.